Hey there, welcome to my uh, Extra Life Donation Tracker 3.0 video. Since most of the functionality has remained the same, I'm gonna kinda jump back and forth between what was in the old video and some new stuff. For the most part, when it comes to the user-facing stuff, there's only two things that changed. One is the settings page, and the other is um, the ability to persist your settings. So I'll talk about those, and the rest of the content will be the same. Um, you might see some slightly different file names because um, there's some some differences in the way things are named and you might see obviously the totals are not going to make sense because when I go back in time it'll be less money raised but uh, otherwise it should be the same and uh, enjoy this tutorial hello there and welcome to this tutorial on how to use the extra life donation tracker on Linux with the GUI a few things have changed since the last time I made a video, so I'm making a brand new one to show you guys what to do. So you want to start out by going to my GitHub page. You can go to uh, github.com slash djotaku slash el donation tracker, and I'll have that URL at the bottom in the description of the video. And once you come here, you just want to click on releases. You want to grab the latest one. At this time, the latest one is version 2.2. And right, so um, I'll have some instructions here that may be useful, especially if you're used to some of the older versions and I might have changed something, so there might be some useful information here to read. But basically, you want to go here to Extra Life Donation Tracker for Linux, click on that, it'll download. Now, I have already um, downloaded it previously um, so that I could have a nice clean folder to put it in. And so here it is. So, what you want to do is right click on that. And um, I'm using KDE, GNOME, uh, or XFCE, or any other window manager, file manager might be slightly different. Uh, worst case scenario, if you're using Linux, I assume you know how to go to the command line and um, untar something. But what you can do in KDE is go to extract, extract here, auto detect subfolder. All right, and that'll give you your folder there that you want to go into. So you just click on here, click on GUI, and then uh, if you want to have the um, command line to show you any errors, you can find a way to open up this folder in the command line. In KDE, it's really easy. You can just hit F4. Oh, unfortunately, for my OBS recording, it puts it on my other window so you won't see it, but you can do that. Um, but we're not going to worry about that, and uh, we're just going to click on the GUI. Again, depending on your window manager, how you have things set up, you might need to double click. I just need to click once, and here's the Extra Life Donation Tracker GUI. All right, so, um, and basically anything that I um, collect, any information I collect for you from the API that you can put into OBS will be found here. Um, now, because I do this on my computer already, it grabbed um, data from the last time I ran this. Um, but let's pretend you're running it for the first time, right? So these would stay blank. All right, welcome to the future. This is a uh, version 3.0. It looks most of the same. Now, um, because this is running on my computer, it already knows where my files are, so it's grabbing this data. Obviously, you wouldn't have this data if you had just grabbed this and opened up the tar file. But the big difference here is in the settings. So I'm going to click on settings. And the things you have to fill out are all on here. Your participant ID, the way you get that is you just go to your URL on Extra Life and it'll be right at the end. Same thing with the team ID. I will pull this up and we'll go over to Extra Life. Oops, I want to go to my Extra Life page. Give that a second to load. All right, so here's my participant ID right here. And obviously yours would be at the end of your URL. And then my team, once that loads, here's my team ID. All right. So you just plop those in there. The um, donation sound, uh, you just click here on select sound. And I've already included uh, my daughter um, saying you've got a donation. So that's there. You can make any MP3 you want. For the tracker image, I've got the engineer from um, Team Fortress, and you'll see how that works in a moment. Uh, again, you can select any 
uh, file you want. It's gonna look best if you select a PNG file with a transparent background or a GIF file with a transparent background. And uh, then you wanna change the, the text folder, which is where you're gonna store the output of Extra Life Donation Tracker. So for the sake of um, showing you uh, what, what would happen if you didn't have all the data ready, you'd click Select Folder and find somewhere on your directory. You don't wanna put it here in the, um, in the same place that the GUI is because every time I release a new version, you're gonna lose whatever you had before. But, you know, this is just a tutorial, so I can put it here. I'll call this text. Choose that. All right. So there's a new setting I have now, which is persist settings. And if you hit persist settings, it's going to save it under the XDG uh, mandated area. So that's kind of like a consortium of the window managers and deciding where things go. Um, <clears throat> it's basically a folder in your home directory. Um, it would be um, under your uh, home folder slash dot config slash extra life donation tracker and it'll store the file in there why would you want to do that well that way every time i release a new version you don't lose all your settings you would just persist it there and if i've now added versioning to the settings so if i change any fields in there it'll detect that and it'll let you know hey do you want to either start from scratch and it'll copy in the new the um, default settings or um when you when you bring up settings um it'll it'll show all your old settings and then in this case donors display is the new um setting it would fill that in for you and then once you hit say uh, save or persist settings depending on if you want to persist or not then it would overwrite the file and you'd have the new version everything would be fine so um for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to hit save instead of persist settings because i'm just doing a tutorial i don't need these settings to persist um, and so the next time that this refreshes, these should all go blank because now it doesn't know anything. So the way you would run it, right, is you would hit, well, once you're done with all the settings here, you would hit run and then it would update it and then you'd have new updated settings. So, and it would pull in your donors and, and if you have team information, it'll pull that in. Um, just one more thing here, this thing that I added here, donors to display, this new feature, um, essentially, this is in the text files that you'll see later on in this video when we go back to the past. Um, those are the output of of this tracker. And so here I have top five team participants, but you could change this number to any number. And then when you actually have it on OBS or XSplit, that's how many would show up. So if you have a whole bunch of donors and you want them to all show up on either on a scroll or on a, on a screen or whatever, then that's the number you would pick, all right? So I'm gonna now let's go back to the past and you can see how the rest of this works. I want to show you the tracker. We're gonna use this in OPS. All right, and when you hit here on test alert, you got a donation. You'll see that's the image that you could have selected, and that's the sound that uh, we selected. So right now you see it's still blank because we switched over to. Um, the text files that are found are going to be found in here. So let's go ahead and hit run. And that'll start um, pinging the API. And then within about 50, oh, there you go. Really quickly pulled it in there. So now you've got the amount total raised, the amount of donations, the goal, the average donation, the last donation, the top donation, and the recent donations. And then for the teams, you've got your team captain, your goal, the total amount you've raised, the number of donations, the top team participant, and the top five team participants. These are all things that you can put into um, OBS, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. But first, let's go to the text files here. These are the text files. This is the folder we picked, and these are the files that contain all that data that you see on the GUI. So anything in the GUI is something that you can put into OBS. So for example, if we go here to uh, last five donor names, there you go, and um, so on and so forth. So I'm going to shrink this window here. Let me see this Jupiter background I've got. And we're gonna come over to OBS. 
So um, last time I made one of these videos, I found that uh, because of the infinite thing, like what you've got going on here, if I don't put it in studio mode, it's a lot harder to see exactly what's going on. And what we'll do is we'll apply um, everything we're doing to the folder scene. So that way it'll be a lot more apparent what it is we're actually doing. Although just to keep things from getting confusing, I'm gonna move the tracker to one of my other screens, just so that's off screen. Otherwise, you'll see why it'll be a little confusing if that's actually on the screen. <coughs> okay, so let's start off by adding in, um, let's say, let's do a horizontal scroll of the donors. So what you'll do is you go to text, free type two, and we'll say horizontal donors. Alright, just wanted to make sure that's actually capturing. One of the times I did this, I think I did a window capture instead of a screen capture, and so it didn't actually capture this part of the tutorial. So we're going to do read from file, I'm going to browse. Alright, and so we were in temp, extra life video, and text files, and we want. What you want to do is pick last five donor name amount message horizontal. So you have it like this, so that'll allow you to scroll. So you take that, put it here along the bottom, drag it over to the edge, right? Then we uh, right click on it and go to filters, and you will add, uh, funnily enough, a scroll filter. And here you can pick the speed, go really fast, go really slowly can go backwards, but that kind of doesn't make sense. You want to go this way. So whatever speed you're fine with, I'll hit close. Now I'll switch over and you can see what that looks like there on the bottom. You see um, right down here, you see all the names scrolling by. All right. And again, these are the same ones that are here, just in a horizontal orientation. All right. So let's do another one just to kind of make sure you got the hang of it. Let's go to text. This one will be um, top team donors. We'll read that from the file. Hit browse, wait for the computer to do its thing. All right, team top five. This time instead of horizontal, we'll do the ones that are a list like this. Uh, maybe I will increase the font a little. Right. Now, if we go back over here, you can see here's all the names and those match these names. Okay. And there's just one more thing to do. And that is to add in the tracker. So that's where we had the image and uh, my daughter's voice saying you had a donation. So what you want to do, um, I'm not 100% sure if this is what happens in Linux, but Whenever I've done this on Windows, whether it's my donation tracker or the one that I based this off of, off of um, five years ago, you need to start. Um, so you need to start this window first. You need to hit tracker so that this window comes up first. Then you need to start OBS because otherwise it's not going to uh, work correctly. It's actually going to display your um, this uh, GUI instead of the tracker, which is what you want. So we're going to go here to do a window capture. All right, we'll do tracker. All right, what window are we going to capture? Well, we have a lot of choices here. Um, I have a lot of windows open because this is going across all my different <coughs> my different desktops. So we want to find tracker. Where's tracker? Oh, here we go. It's the last one. All right, so there's our green bar. I'm gonna hit okay. Here it is. So you put it wherever you want on the screen. Then you're gonna right click on it, click on filters. And you're going to do chroma key. It's automatically expecting a green screen, green screen. So you can see here it's gone and here it's gone. So now when you close that window, 
uh, you can see it's over here. Now I'm going to transition over so you can see exactly what's going to happen, right? So here's the game you're playing, da da da, you're playing the game, and someone gives you a donation, it's going to look like this. You got a donation! So you see why it's important to have the clear background on your image so that the image shows through. And if you, I'm going to trigger it one more time. You got a donation! See here, this is equal to um, this one here, which you may or may not be able to see. It may be um, covered up by the six at the moment, but it's cool. whatever was your last donation, that's what's going to show up there. So that's what that's for. So that's all you need to know in order to put this together. So you just, all you need to do is um, set up whichever text you want over whatever part of the game, however you want to do it. Um, you can have the um, vertical list. You can have a horizontal list that you scroll. Um, you can just show the top donation and that's it. Again, anything that I've got a text for there, which is also equivalent to anything that I've got here. Anything that I've got a field for here is something I've got a text file for. And so one more thing before we go. All right, let's get this guy off this window. All right, so uh, going back over here to my uh, GitHub page for the donation tracker. If, if you come across any issues while you're using this where you think there's a bug or if you have a feature request, you just log into GitHub, click on issues, you know, go to my page, click on issues. Here's all the issues that we have open. At the moment, all the issues are things that I'm tracking, things that I want to work on in the future versions of the software. Um, but if you look here, you can see there have been some tickets by other people. Um, this person had a text file missing error. Um, this person wanted team support. And so, you know, we just work through the issue, try to figure out what's needed and fix a bug and then make a new release. So I hope that helps you. And I hope you have a good game day um, using the software to keep track of your donations. Um, it's no requirement to do this, but if you find the software really useful, you can come over here and this link will take you to my Extra Life campaign page. I update this every year. The URL always remains the same, but I update where it points to. And you could uh, throw a donation my way for Johns Hopkins Children's Center, but you don't have to. It's okay. And um, that's it. So thanks for watching. Bye.